Hey guys, welcome to episode number 385. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today I wanted to talk about using aquariums as furniture. It's not something that many people think about, but it's a pretty inspiring idea. And so I wanted to walk you through a story and then make the case as to why maybe your next tank should be a furniture tank. So as you might remember, a few months back, I went to visit Larry from Agcor Fish Foods in Rhode Island. And while I was there, he recommended that I go check out a local fish store called Something Fishy. Something Fishy is a pretty innovative uh, fish store and it's actually a service company. It's also a retail store and they're doing something really interesting with a local furniture company. They're turning aquariums and furniture into a business together. Um, so here's an example right here. And this is something you haven't really seen a whole lot of before. There's a few more examples in here as well in their catalog. And essentially what you're looking at is an aquarium with space for your filtration underneath, but it also includes space for books, shelving, knickknacks, like whatever else you need um, to make it basically a part of your home. And, you know, when most people think of aquariums, they think of, you know, the oak stand or the, the black mat stand or maybe even like the wrought iron stands. They don't really think about aquariums as a piece of furniture. So, I mean, here's another, here's another great example here. And I think they actually have this one in the bathroom of the store at Something Fishy. So the idea is um, to make aquariums a part of your home. And it's really interesting. I think it comes at an interesting time too, when people are ditching their TVs, uh, when people are, you know, maybe watching more Netflix, when people are using their iPads instead of, you know, sitting down on a couch in front of a TV, uh, it, it sort of frees up a corner of your, your house potentially for a very nice signature piece of furniture. And what better way to show something that's really breathtaking than to include an aquarium as part of your furniture. So you walk into a living room, instead of seeing a flat screen TV, you see a bookshelf, an elegant bookshelf with knickknacks and an aquarium. Whole thing is totally silent. You know, if you ch pick the right filtration system, everything will be fine. If you do a very light bio load, it's something that's not going to need to be serviced uh, super often. And it takes sort of that elegance of a, an upscale home, right? That is, um, you know, potentially paying a service company hundreds or thousands of dollars to, to like, you know, um, take care of this aquarium in, in their, you know, giant mansion. And it, it makes it a little bit more affordable and a little bit more accessible to the masses. So when you're thinking about a Christmas gift, when you're thinking about, um, you know, uh, explaining to your spouse uh, why an aquarium should be in your living room, it's a dangerous topic, I know. Um, think about aquariums as a piece of furniture. And, you know, maybe changing that mindset is, is really what it's going to take to uh, incorporate aquariums into our everyday homes. Now, someone like me, I take pleasure in building my own stands, keeping bare bottom tanks. They look ugly as hell, but they're super functional. And so that stuff obviously belongs in the basement. But if I was to set up one tank, a show tank, something that I would be super proud to show other people, I think it would be a great idea to, um, you know, use something that looks a little bit more like a piece of furniture and less like just an aquarium. It makes it part of your home. And I guess at the end of the day, that's all I'm trying to get at. So uh, if you're in the Rhode Island area, I would definitely recommend checking out something fishy. Uh, I've got to go back to that store at some point and shoot some video from the store. 
I would love to do that. But for right now, all I've got is the brochure to show you guys. So uh, if you're in the area, definitely go check them out. Get some inspiration as to what your next aquarium could be, what your next show tank could be, and how you might be able to convince your spouse that an aquarium belongs in your living room. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.